All right, guys, this follow along workout, we're going to be targeting our lateral line. So to get started, grab yourself a five pound dumbbell, eight pounds, 10 pounds, somewhere around there. I'll be using five pounds. First thing we're going to do is make sure that we know how to pressurize our core before training the lateral line so that it doesn't go to our lower back or somewhere we don't want it. So grab this yourself this dumbbell and here's what we're looking for. You're going to breathe into your belly and as you do a bicep curl perfectly to the side like this, you're going to shift your hips this way and lean to the, to the dumbbell. You cannot have a tuck here. It's going to go to the lower back. So suck and tuck. Pressurize. And I want to make sure that you can poke this and it feels dense. Or at the very least that it doesn't feel like it's going to your lower back and that you feel supported in your core. If that feels good. Spend some time here. You can swing this if you want, or you can just start here. Just feeling that density. Now, if you're pretty strong naturally here already, you won't, you may not feel anything happening, but if you feel nothing happening, including nothing bad happening, then you may just be okay. Okay, do the other side. That was about five on that side. Don't let your shoulders just fall back, stay wide. You're using the bicep curl to load that other lot, to load the other side. And also you may just hold it here. Play around with the angle of how much you have to use, shift your hips, how much you have to side bend. So get this to turn on, this is my good side. So I don't actually feel the side engage, that's my good side, it just engages naturally. Whereas my other side is weaker and I can feel it turn on because it's weaker. This side just turns on naturally. This side, I can feel it turn on because it doesn't always stay on naturally. Okay, so now that we're warmed up and I'm hoping that you just felt, um, at least felt good. If, if any of that went to lower back, then this might not be for you. So let's go ahead and get started. First up, side lunging, doing 20. One, two, three. As we know, loading on this leg, the leg you're loading on needs to be going to your hamstrings and glutes, right? I'm here shifting that butt back, the knee, the shin is vertical. If that shin is not vertical, and the knee goes too far forward, you're going to load your quad and put shear on the kneecap. You don't want that. Keep it going. As I land, I'm pushing off this hip. And once I get about here, I'm pulling with this hip. or inside leg, I should say. We should be getting a stretch here. Stretch here. I'm only getting a stretch on my right side, but that's because it's the only side that's tight. Keeping pressure in the core. Okay, next, we're gonna do the same move, but we're gonna add something to it. So, step out here, push off, bring your this foot to the outside to load here, and then you're just gonna go back one, two, three. Make sure you stay up tall here, supporting yourself here and here. Four, we're loading this to come back out. Breathe in, come out, six, seven, eight, Nine, ten, other side. So, stepping out. One, two. On this side, don't collapse here. Stay tall. Ah, 
None of this is going to the lower back. Nine, eight, nine, ten. So what we're doing there is, of course, lunging and then loading this lateral like a bowstring and then going back out. Okay, next up, stepping over here. So you're gonna step over. Your weight is distributed evenly between both legs. And as I'm stepping, as I go into it, it starts to come a little bit more on this leg. Once again, don't try not to collapse here. We're just stre stepping and then coming out, going the other way. Each side, I'm breathing into that side body, side of my core, pressurizing it. I'm feeling my whole belt here engage. And 10. Once again, we're going to do the same thing. We're just going to add something to the end here. So now you're going to step out, breathe, kick. So I'm kicking, coming down, stepping over, kick, step down, step over, step down, step over. And feel free to pause. You don't need to go at my pace. Pause here. Make sure it's gonna come from the right area. Step over, breathe, really pressurize. Take a few breaths if you need to, to really pressurize the core. Step down. This is my tighter side, so I will take more time to breathe here. I'm using my right arm, lat, everything here to kick down. Almost done with this one. Two more. Okay, last move before we repeat the harder ones, lateral line shuffle. So what's happening here? Shifting my weight over my, my legs are spread, shifting over my right leg, left leg. Le so starting here, right leg, jumping, boom, coming back, right, left, Right, left, and then as I jump, as my feet go from here to here, I'm switching my sides. One, two, one, two, one, two, one, two, one, two, one, two. One, two. All coming from the core. Now, let's go back to what we were doing. Uh, now we're gonna repeat that serve here. So, first thing, side lunging. One, two, three, four. This guy feels a lot more stretched out now. Five, six. As I'm coming into it, do I lose pressure or does my pressure stay there? Seven, eight, nine. Am I feeling my loosened hamstring? I hope so. 
All right, next up, overhead reach to kick. One, boom, step. Two. If you have ankle weights, put them on. This feels even better with ankle weights. Kicking, and then almost kicking myself back down so that I can step. Excellent. Next, lateral line shuffle. So, lean to the left, weights over this foot. If you want to practice this, let's just practice this a little bit. Feeling that pressure? Loading, loading. Yep, you feel it coming from the right places, not the lower back. And then, you ready? Right? One, and then your head becomes a fixed point. And now I'm here. Get used to this a little bit. You can see what I'm doing with my arms, helping with the motion. And then when you feel ready, boom. Oh. What's this, tennis? Ah, we know how to play tennis. Either arm, let's go. And then when you feel ready, boom. What's this, baseball? Ah, let's go. You can do a little rotation with the shoulders if you want, or you can keep it purely I kind of like to do a little rotation. Now, as I'm going from here, now let's remember that the inside of our legs and the outsides of our hips are what's helping us do this. So if I go from here to here, I'm pulling from this, pushing from this, boom, boom. And then as I'm about to go this way, this is loaded, this is loaded up, boom. And then these are loaded right here, boom. You see that? And then, boom. All right. That was quite a nice little 15, 20 minutes there, I believe. I have no idea. Hope you enjoyed it. And I'll see you guys next time. And keep up the good work.